Now, cooling of a soup. Cooling of a soup is a problem which can be solved using Newton's law of cooling. Suppose in a restaurant, a big pot of soup is cooked late at night just before closing time so that there would be plenty of soup to feed customers the next day. But while refrigeration is essential to preserve the soup overnight, the soup was too hot to be put directly into the fridge when it was ready. The soup had just boiled at 100 degrees centigrade and the fridge is not powerful enough to accommodate a big pot of soup if it was any warmer than 20 degrees. Somehow, by cooling the pot in a sink full of cold water which is kept running so that the temperature was roughly constant at 5 degrees centigrade would bring the temperature of the soup to 60 degrees centigrade in 10 minutes. So how long before the closing time should the soup be ready so that it can be put in the fridge and workers can leave on time? Suppose T of T is equal to temperature of soup at any time T. T0 is equal to initial temperature of the soup that is 100 degree centigrade. Ambient temperature that is the temperature of the water in the sink is 5 degree centigrade. Y of T is equal to T of T minus Ta the temperature difference between the soup and water. Y0 is equal to initial temperature difference at time T is equal to 0. It is equal to T0 minus Ta. Therefore, dt by dt is proportional to t of t minus ta. As t of t minus ta is greater than 0 that is, the soup is going to cool. So, dt by dt is less than 0. So, dt by dt is equal to minus k t of t minus ta, where k is a positive constant. But, y, t, y of t is equal to t of t minus ta. Therefore, dy by dt is equal to d by dt of t minus ta. Therefore, dy by dt is equal to dt by dt. Now, uh, dt by dt is equal to minus k t minus ta. So, dy by dt is equal to minus ky. Solving it, we get 1 by y dy is equal to minus k dt. On integrating it, we get log y is equal to minus kt plus log c. Therefore, y is equal to c e raised to minus kt. At time t is equal to 0, y of t is equal to y0. Therefore, y0 is equal to c e raised to 0. Therefore, c is equal to y0. Therefore, y is equal to y0 e raised to minus kt. And t is equal to ta minus t0 minus ta e raised to minus kt. Now, putting the values, ta is 5 degrees, t0 is 100 degrees. And the difference, t0 minus ta is 95. We get t of t is equal to 5 plus 95 e raised to minus kt. Even we know that t is equal to 10 minutes, we get t of 10 is equal to 60 degrees centigrade. So 60 is equal to t of 10 plus, is equal to 5 plus 95 e raised to minus 10k. Therefore e raised to 10k is equal to 1.73. 10k is 0.54, so we get k is equal to 0.054 minute inverse. Hence the complete solution is T of T is equal to 95, 5 plus 95 e raised to minus 0.054 T. Now let us determine how long it takes for the soup to be cool enough to put into the refrigerator. T of T is equal to 20 degrees centigrade. So at that time, 20 is equal to 5 plus 95 e raised to minus 0.054 T. Therefore, e raised to minus 0.054 T is equal to 95 by 15. Hence, we get t is equal to 34.18 minutes. So, it will take almost a little more than half an hour for the soup to be cool enough. A point to note, as the temperature of the object decreases exponentially even after a long period of time, it would never achieve the ambient temperature. Thank you.